Well, probably one of the highest tributes for anyone working in the natural world is to have a newly discovered species named after them. In fact, David, I know you have quite a number already named after you. Um, it's your birthday, so one of the world's foremost dragonfly experts wanted to give you a little gift. Here is Klaus Dudikstra. On your 90th birthday, I want to wish you not only many more years of good health and of broadcasting, but I wish everyone more of you. And to thank you, I've named, together with colleagues, a dragonfly in your honor, Asisoma Atsambarawai. Your new dragonfly is from Madagascar, and I'm happy to report that your dragonfly is actually very common. Every farmer can find it in her paddy, every fisherman can see it in his pond, every schoolchild can find it in the yard. It simply is another one of those species that is unique, but no one noticed that it was. But now people can go out there and say, hey, look, that is Sir David Dragonfly. Thank you and happy birthday. And here it is. There it is, David, a very special little birthday gift, Asasoma Atambarai. Rather beautiful, don't you think? I think it's stunningly beautiful. Dragonflies are magical insects, aren't they? You know, they, they date back for 300 million years. Just like that, yeah. Extraordinary. What a thrill. Because he's very, ooh. I definitely have love for David Attenborough. Yeah, no, like, I, I don't know why you wouldn't love David Attenborough. 